Well, hi folks, Martin Levins is my name, and I'll be driving this ship this semester. I'm looking forward to meeting everyone. There's quite a few enrolments this year, which in my experience is um, unusual. So that's going to be really good. The more, the merrier, as far as I'm concerned. Particularly if we can work out some sort of um, way of all working together and collaborating on this. Uh, you know, many minds um, are a great help. I'd encourage you to put a little bit about you in the uh, forum post. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, particularly if you've done any teaching or what your interests are and what sort of things did you hate about digital technologies when you're at school or your previous experience in whatever endeavour you're involved in and what sort of things worked really well for you. That would be quite helpful. Um, my background, um, I spent most of my life in K-12 to and teaching everything um, from uh, teaching in a lot of small schools but some big ones as well. Uh, I'm also a recovering director of IT uh, at a large rural uh, regional school. Um, we were the first school on the internet in 1992, I think it was from memory. And from there, I've taught science, mathematics, um, design and technology, computer studies, as it was known way back in the time of the ARC, um, through to uh, IST, software design and technology and development, I should say. Um, what else? Uh, physics and a bit of biology and chemistry. So it's been my passion since 1981 when I was involved in the first rollout of uh, school personal type computers, PCs as we know them now, in uh, South Australia in 1981. And then uh, moved on from there. So having being involved not just with K-12, I um, unsuccessfully retired in 2015 and worked for ACARA. I worked with ACARA, a team at ACARA, uh, helping disadvantaged schools throughout Australia deploy the digital technologies curriculum. And of course that's being uh, evidenced in this course in the 7 to 10 computing technology NESA um, syllabus which we will use primarily um, as our go-to um, but if you're from a different state then we might we'll play around a little bit with that as well and different states do things in different ways as you may be aware um, what else we got oh yes now I'm at university uh, lecturing in RT that was the second unsuccessful um, retirement which happened in 2000 and 22, I think, from memory. Um, I'm also on the board of ICT NSW, which is the teacher education group for computers and education. And I've been a um, the president of the Australian Council for Computers and Education, ACCE, many moons ago. Very interested in this whole topic. Think that the idea behind um, using computing in schools to help students think is brilliant. Uh, the 7 to 10, of course, is a little bit different in that we're looking more at um, the technology from a development and enterprise perspective, as you'll see a little bit later. doesn't necessarily mean that all the kids are going to go on to be involved in that area, but it helps them understand their world. It's also very creative and a far cry from the earlier iteration of this subject which was uh, information software technology, which I taught in schools. Um, that was written in 2021, I think. Uh, sorry, 2003 it was when it came out and it only got replaced a year ago. A um, few things have changed in computing. One of the things that I want to play with with you this trimester is to look at the role of um, artificial intelligence as a way of making our life a little bit easier. And you'll see that reflected in the assignments when they go on, up online. Anyway, play around, have a look. Uh, just play around for the first couple of weeks. There'll be some changes made to the weeks uh, after that uh, to make them more consonant with the way I've rewritten the um, assignments. So don't forget, put some stuff into that forum and I look forward to reading all about it. Cheers.